In this video, we are going to see another example of the Aspen Hysis simulation software. Now, again, select the new and select the case as we have done in the previous video. Now, our question here is to keep the nitrogen in inert separation if you move the free liquid. So, this is our feed stream composition. First, we are going to add the components. Let's start adding these components. Add. And here it is. Mm, the first component is nitrogen. And two. Here it is nitrogen add and the second one is H2S hydrogen sulfide add and the third one is carbon dioxide CO2 here it is add and methane Methane, ethane, uh, propane, I butane and butane I pentane and pentane and hexane. It's two O. And at the end, we have a hypothetical component. So these are components are added. Now I am going to show you that how we can add an hypothetical component. This one. So now let's just start. To add the hypothetical component, we have to convert it. Uh, this select the hypothetical option. And select sheet and edit hypos and select new hypo group and select new hypo and here it is. The, the temperature we were given here uh, is 110 degrees in normal boiling point. Okay, so and select. Uh, you can also change the name of the hypothetical component uh, just uh, select this mm, here it is Here it is. Now we can simply give the name C7 to our hypothetical component and 
estimate unknown properties here it automatically estimated all the properties just escape and select add now these are all our components now just select the fluid package the fluid package we are given here is Frank Robinson Frank Robinson fluid package select the Frank Robinson from the method assistant or you can just simply go and select the fluid package Frank Robinson okay we are okay to go forward move forward let's see the simulations first we have to add the material stream material stream 1 and let's put the composition one by one this is the composition we are going to put Nitrogen is 0 So we have a total one and in the fractions we have the and total here is one mole. So click on the OK button and click on the OK button. Now we have to add the fifteen degree centigrade pressure. Go to the conditions. and put down the temperature 1 5 degree centigrade 6200 kilopascal and put in 40 kg moles per hour okay so we are okay to go and discuss it and the feed stream enters an in inlet separator which removes the free liquids. Separator. Double click on stream 1 enters in the separator and we will name it V1. And this will be L1. Okay, we are okay to move forward. Overhead gas from the separator is fed to the chiller. 
ओके ओवरहेड गैस the overhead gas from the separator is fed to the chiller where it is cooled to minus 20 degrees centigrade which will be modeled simply as the cooler and the pressure drop is 35 kilopascal double click on it and the stream entering is V1 and the stream is E1 and the outlet stream is 2 now we have unknown delta p go to the parameters and the delta p we are given here is 35 kilopascal 35 kilopascal and In the worksheet, we are going to give the stream to the temperature of minus 20 degrees centigrade. Minus 20 degrees centigrade. So we are okay to go and move forward. Okay, cross it. Now, what is he saying? The cold stream is then separated in a low pressure, low temperature separator. Now we need another separator. The stream coming is two. Vapor outlet is V2 and the liquid outlet is L2. Okay, we are okay to go, but there are something which we have to. Overhead gas from the LTS is fed to the heater with a pressure drop of 5 kilopascal. Let's cross it. Then it is fed to the heater, the upper stream, that is the vapor stream. Now we need a heater. I will click on it. And the inlet stream is V2 here. Energy stream is V2. And the outlet stream is stream 3. And he's saying unknown delta P that is 5 kilopascal. Parameters and select the 5 kilopascal. Where it is heated to 10 degree centigrade to meet sales gas specification. And in the worksheet, we are going to give cream 3 the temperature of 10 degree centigrade. and he's saying that we are okay to go okay so thing we were finding out was the calculate the duty rejected from the chiller and the duty absorbed inside the heater So here you can see that the duty 4.195 into 10 raised to power 6 kilojoules per hour
and the duty absorbed inside the heater. We can also show them in the form of the tables. I am ran running out of space, I am very sorry. So this was the duty rejected. This was the du duty rejected from the chiller. That is 4.19 into 10 raised to the power 6 kilojoules per hour. And this is the duty absorbed inside the heater to meet the sales gas temperature requirement 2.285 into 10 raised to the power 6 kilojoules per hour. So we are going to do some study on this problem in our next video. So I am hopeful you understood it. This thank you very much and I will see you soon.